What's up everybody? And today we're gonna be talking about the seven habits of people who have amazing credit scores. What's up everybody and welcome to Master Money. My name is Andrew, I'm the host of the Personal Finance Podcast and founder of mastermoney.co. And today we're gonna be talking about the seven habits of people with excellent credit scores. Now, if you're just starting out building up credit or you've had bad credit in the past, this is the video for you because implementing these seven habits is going to be massively beneficial for you and your wealth building potential. The reason why is you want to increase your credit score because it's a significant, significant factor over the course of your wealth building lifetime. The reason why is your credit score dictates a number of things, including your interest rate on mortgages or car loans or anything of that nature, which can amount to six figures over the course of your life because if an interest rate fluctuates one to 2%, then that is a massive difference. So making sure you're implementing these seven habits will ensure that you have a great credit score over your lifetime. So the first one, is that people with great credit scores pay their bills on time. The most influential factor in your credit score is your payment history. And making sure that you're paying your bills on time and you're up to date on your bills ensures that your credit score will not take any hits. Even one bill that is 30 days late will impact your credit score significantly. So making sure you have your bills paid on time is the first biggest factor. Number two is people with great credit scores watch their credit utilization ratio. Now, what is your credit utilization? What that means is if you're allowed to spend $10,000 across all of your credit cards and you spend $7,000 of it, you're using 70% of your credit utilization. That is not a good thing. So what you want to do is make sure that you're keeping your utilization as low as possible. In fact, studies have shown that people with a credit score above 795 typically have a credit utilization of 7% or lower. So making sure you're keeping that credit utilization as low as possible is extremely important. Now, how do you do this? What I personally do is I pay my credit cards every single Friday. I pay them once a week and that keeps my credit utilization lower and ensures that every single week I'm on track and know exactly where I am. The third thing that people with fantastic credit scores do is they keep their balances low because it is extremely important to make sure that you keep your balances low because that helps your credit utilization as well. This is just another reason why I like to pay off my credit cards every single week. In fact, people with FICO scores higher than 795 actually kept their balances at $4,000 or less. That was the average for folks who had a really high credit score. So the key takeaway here is just maintain your spending, make sure that you're only buying things that you have cash to pay off at the end of every single month so that you can ensure that you can keep that credit score high. And if you don't know how to do this, then make sure you at least have a budget in place so that you can manage your money every single month. The fourth thing that people do with excellent credit scores is they give it time. Making sure that you're patient when it comes to building up your credit is extremely important. In fact, the average person who had a credit score of 795 or higher had at least 12 years of credit on their credit score. So time gives you a leg up. Now, can you get a really high credit score in just a couple of years with a blank slate? Absolutely, I personally did it. I did, I had a well over an 800 credit score in just a couple of years. So if you're just setting up your credit score, you're just setting up and getting started with credit, just get a credit card, put a small purchase every single month and then pay off that purchase. That's gonna at least start your credit history, especially if you're young, if you're 18, 19, 20, then look at doing this so that you can start building up your credit slowly and it's gonna get you started on the right foot. The fifth habit of people with excellent credit is they apply for credit sparingly. The more often that you open up credit cards or you get a mortgage or you start an auto loan, all of these pieces will actually put what's called an inquiry on your credit score. And the more inquiries that you stack up, the worse it is for your credit score. That is why it is so important to open up credit sparingly. So let's say, for example, that you like to travel hack and you like to get the rewards based on credit card points. Well, people who do that usually like to open up multiple credit cards. So what I recommend is at least wait six months in between each time that you open up a credit card. That way you give your credit score enough time to recover from the last opening as well. The sixth habit is to choose the right credit card for you. 
For example, if you love to travel, then a travel rewards credit card would be perfect for you because it would incentivize you to ensure you're paying off that card so that you can get those travel rewards points. Or if you love cash back, then having a cash back card, specifically for whatever you utilize a lot. If you go to restaurants a lot and you get 3% cash back on restaurants, then go for a card that does that. Or if you buy groceries all the time, then go for a card that specializes in grocery cash back. But making sure that you pick up the right card for you is extremely important. Number seven is to monitor your credit score frequently. Now, monitoring your credit score is extremely important. The reason why is a lot of times you can have false inquiries on your credit report and you wanna make sure that you're monitoring that so you don't take any hits unnecessarily. In addition, you wanna understand, well, what impacts my credit score and why does this happen? Why does my credit score go down or up? And you can see that happening in real time. Now, there's a number of ways that you can monitor your credit score. I like to do it at least once a year, but you can also do it through a lot of banks and credit card companies. Now, for example, Chase or Capital One, they all have different variations of credit score monitoring and they can show you your score in real time. So making sure you're monitoring it frequently is extremely important. Listen, I hope you guys enjoyed this video of the seven habits of people with excellent credit scores. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe and like this video and hit that notification bell as well. And here are two more videos that I know you guys are gonna love. And if you want more content like this, make sure to stick around and we're gonna nonstop give you as much content as possible about personal finance, about business and how to grow your wealth. Thank you again so much for watching and we'll see you on the next video.